Hello everyone. Once again, welcome back to How to Hack. Today we are going to continue our iOS pen testing tutorial. In today's session, we discuss about a provisioning profile. A provisioning profile is a collection of information that links an Apple ID with a, a signing certificate and an authorized device, which means if you are installing an application in your iOS device, this application should have a provisioning profile, so which it describe it is developed by an authorized developer. So, and also it is confirming it is safe to run on any Apple device. So, to do our practical, we have to install a vulnerable application in our device. But this application doesn't have any provisioning profile. So, we have to create our own provisioning profile and we have to install with it. This is iOS device which we have jailbroken previously. Like I told you already, I am using iPhone 7 Plus for my testing purpose. At first, I am opening Xcode. Here I am going to create a dummy application. With the help of Xcode, I will save this application and install into our iOS device. The iOS version is 15. So I am going to change this version to 15. So you can see here the application is installed in our iOS device now. But if any issue is happening like the application is not trusted, we have to enable the settings and make sure the application is trusted by settings itself. So we have to access the settings and we have to confirm the verification of this application. So this is happening because this Xcode is verifying with our Apple ID is generating its own provisioning profile for installation of the application. Now the important part is, we have created an application to install in our iOS device. This application have a provisioning profile. This provisioning profile is generated in our own Mac device. So we will locate this provisioning profile now. You have to open the driver, then after you have to find your local user account. From there open libraries, then after mobile devices by the date and time you can identify the provisioning profile which we have created now and now we have to copy the provisioning profile into the new application we are going to install that is the testing application so we have to keep both of this file in the same directory Before signing with the provisioning profile, I am going to try with the application itself. So we are trying to install an unsigned application into our iPhone device. But you can see here, in the iPhone device, 
the application is not working which means the application can work only if it has a provisioning profile signed with it previously i told you about Cilio application so this is for our jailbroken device so we have to go for a new repository for this Cilio application that is karen's repo so just search for karen's repo in your google account and find this corresponding source url and now open this application and paste the source into the corresponding application So this silly application will download the Karen's repo into our source directory. In the previous lab, we have installed Fuda into our Cilio application. Similarly, we are going to install Karen's repo into the source. Once after it is completed, we have to download one more supporting tool. So just go to the all category and search for AppSync Unified and install into our application. This is for making sure any unsigned application can even get installed into our iOS device. Now I am going to remove the secure store application which already we have installed. Now we are going to sign our application then after we will install once again into our iOS device. We are going to install, we are going to sign this application using Apple Sign Tool. So we have to get an ID. At first we are going to generate our Apple ID. This could be generated only if your account is logged in with your Apple ID there. At first we are going to generate an ID useful for signing. This ID is generated only if you are logged in with your Apple ID into your Mac OS. Which means this ID is generated based on our account we have created in our Mac OS. And once after generating the ID, we are going to sign with the Apple sign tool. So we use the command Apple sign minus I, then we provide the ID we have generated. Then after, we provide the application name which has to be signed. So here it is secure store. This application is available at the link which I have added to the description. Then after minus M, then the provisioning profile which we have copy into the location. Then, let, then just press enter. So this application gets signed with the provisioning profile. We can see here. A new IPA file is been generated which is pre-signed. Now we are going to install this application to the mobile device using Escort or Apple Configurator. Once we open this application, now we can see it is working properly. So, for more cybersecurity videos and iOS fantasy tutorial, you can subscribe my channel.